When you think of fan-made games, certain ideas might pop into your head regarding how they might look like. Invariably, you'll associate them to simple and blocky games from the past, and you'll be mostly correct. However, fan games come in all shapes. Sometimes their production levels even border on AAA. But we'll cover that later in this video. First, however, I should declare that some obvious games will miss out in this list. The first is AM2R. It's a remarkable fan-made game of Metroid 2, but most people have heard about it by now. I suspect my audience is fairly knowledgeable, so I would just waste their time if I included it here. The same can be said of Cry of Fear. It's an awesome horror game based on the Gold Source engine, but it's already well known. Pokemon Uranium was so famous that Nintendo actually banned it. You can still download the game if you know what you're doing. If you haven't heard of Sonic Roboblast yet, you've been living under a rock. It's probably the most recognizable Doom Engine game of all time. It's still worth your time though. Despite what its name implies, the Dark Mod is not actually a mod. It's a standalone game based on the Doom 3 engine, but most of you should know this, which is why it misses out on my list. The last one is Streets of Rage Remake. Again, it's wonderful, but too familiar to my audience. Just like Sonic Roboblast, Adventures of Square started out as a mod for GZ Doom before becoming standalone. Currently it has two episodes comprising of several levels each. It has great sound effects and the cartoony graphics really sell what the game is aiming for. Rayman Redemption is a reimagination of the original game from 1995 and was built using the Game Maker Toolkit. There have been several other attempts to remake Rayman, but none can compare to Redemption. It builds on the original, yet stays true to what made it great. The Lacard Chronicles and its sequel are unofficial games that aim to expand on the Castlevania universe. Even though it uses new characters, the developer did receive a DMCA strike in 2018 because of the obvious similarities to Konami's commercial games. Ooh. Darkenstein 3D had several influences, including Wolfenstein and Doom. It's only about halfway done, but what is there is phenomenal. I'm a great admirer of the game's particle effects and audio design. Darkenstein was developed with Unity. <laughs> As described on the developer website, Super Mario Flashback is a love letter to the Mario franchise that brings back stages from former adventures. I really enjoyed playing this game. It hit all the right notes and felt like a genuine Nintendo experience. Hopefully the lawyers won't get involved. Oblivion Lost Remake tries to recreate early releases of Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl before it went commercial in 2007. There are more famous Stalker fan games, and certainly plenty of them are better looking, but none stick so closely to the original formula which makes this my favorite Stalker game. It's even better than Shadow of Chernobyl, in my opinion. If you're still salty because they never made a sequel to Plants vs. Zombies, let me introduce you to Neighborhood Defense. The game is awesome because it incorporates all the enhancements of the Android exclusive that never came to PC. And there are no microtransactions, which is always good. My jaw went slack when I saw this for the first time, and immediately I wondered why Sega never made high-definition remakes of Sonic 1 and 2. I know some people prefer the pixel art look, but it would be nice to have an option at least. This game is technically a demo, and there doesn't seem to be any plans to finish the later levels. That's a pity, but it's still fairly long.
there's an open door nearby. Should take you out of the building. You'll need that new... To play this fan game, you must own Portal 2, but you don't need to install it. This is a standalone experience and runs off its own version of the Source engine, and may I say, it pushes the engine to the limit. The graphics are truly phenomenal. If you're itching for a new Portal game, this should make you happy. I have two honorable mentions, starting with the Donkey Kong Country trilogy for PC. I actually wanted to include it in my list, but there seems to be something suspicious about the download. The Reddit forum I checked kept implying that there's a virus, so be careful with this one. This is a great Mario shooter, played from the first person view. But it's only a single level, and it's like, three minutes long. So it's nothing more than a tech demo. Some of the badniks are still left in that wellspring. How did we miss them earlier? Tails, check and see how the chow are doing in the gardens. They might be in trouble. Got it, Sonic. See you near the tower. All right, buddy. I know what you're thinking. How can this be a fan game? It looks like something you can buy on Steam. But believe it or not, Sonic Omens is not commercial. And it even has a good story, filling in the events between Unleashed and Colors. It was developed with Unreal, and the production values are far higher than any fan game deserves. But hey, it's completely free. So if you like Sonic games, what are you waiting for? And better yet, if you found my video useful, please remember to give a like. It really helps with the algorithm. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.